Hi guys, my name is Sebastian Rosies and welcome to my video on Calculus 3 Partial Derivatives. Um, today we're just going to jump right into it. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of how, how to deal with the der derivative, how to um, derive. So this is really not that much different. This is just simply deriving um, an, an equation in the, in, or yeah, an equation or a function in the, in, in a specific term. So, what we gotta what we gotta do first is we gotta look at the variables right here. They're gonna always tell you, or they're gonna have something like z. But we'll get into that later. Um, right here we have an, an x and we have an, and we have a y. So the x we gotta write down f x f y. This is not f of x and not f of y. It's just f x f, f y. Uh, what we're, what's, what's going on here is when we uh, when we want to derive, we gotta put we gotta derive in terms of the specific variable. Okay, and pretty much anything else we just treat as a constant. All right, so let's just walk through this really quick. Now I'm going to do a couple problems, and we're going to uh, breeze through this. It's really not that bad. Calc three is actually, I think, easier than any of the other calcs. But um, in the case, so what we have going on here is uh, there's an x here, which means this whole term is, and, and you know, two is a constant. I hope you know how that how that works out. So. Um, this is also a constant, so we treat it like a constant, so it's derivative of a constant. This is also a constant, so we take it as derivative of a constant. So, you know what happens in the derivative of a constant? It's just zero. When you take derivative of c, there's no power, so it's just a zero. Um, so here, when we take derivative of this, x becomes one, so it's actually two, two times one, right? What's two times one? Well, it's two. So we get two there. Here, it's minus derivative of a constant, which is zero. So it's minus zero, and then plus zero. So there's only zero there, so it doesn't matter. So the only thing we got from this is two. So now we gotta take it in the derivative in terms of, you know, y. So here we, we're gonna rewrite the equation. I like to rewrite the equation each time. The only reason why is because um, the equations get longer and harder, you know, but it's, it's good to keep track. But, um, okay, so here we have, where's our y term? Right there. Okay, is there any y here? No, so it's a c. Is there, any, is there any y here? No. So it's a c. Derivative of c, 0, 0. Derivative of y, y becomes 1. Minus 5 times 1 becomes minus 5. And we're done. We just took the partial derivative of the function, and we got 2 and minus 5. All right, let's, let's run through another one really quick. All right, so here we have x squared and y cubed. Okay, so fx, fy, x squared here, and that's just going to insinuate multiplication. We have y cubed. Now this is a little different because this is something times something else. So in this case, you don't you don't you don't use chain rule because we're not we're not do, we're not trying to try and, we're not trying to find the derivative of the whole thing. We're just trying to find derivative of the of the one portion. So what's going on here is we just treat this as a constant, just like we would treat it anywhere else. So is there any x here? No. So it's a constant. Is there any x here? Yes. So we have to take the derivative of it. So um, you know x squared minus one, and then we bring the two down. So it's going to be two x. going to be 2x times y cubed. Because it's a constant, you just carry the constant. Okay, so in this case we have f of y, and this is going to be 3y squared times x squared. And the reason why it's um, 3y squared, actually, because I, I should have gone through all the steps, I kind of just did it in my head automatically. But um, there's a y here, okay? So this is also treated as a constant. X gets treated as a constant. Oops, we're not taking derivative of it. X is treated as a constant. So it's this times, you know, the f we're looking for, right? So we take the derivative of y, y to the third power. We get 3y squared times x squared because we just carry the constant. All right. Pretty sure I can re repeat that more if I tried. 
There it is. These are our two answers. Oops, sorry. I know you can see that. So that's what's going on. All right. Here's another one. This is this one's a little more interesting. Uh, when I first saw this one, it kind of confused me. Yeah, I think this is a good one. All right. So here we have something else. This is z. This is our z term. Here we have our x term. Here we have our y term. So z is pretty much something we can just ignore um, for now. We're going to talk more about it in the future, but for now we don't really have to care anything about it. It's the same thing as saying, you know, whatever, f, x, y. Um, you do have to differentiate the z, but we're going to just ignore it for now because it's a little complicated. So what's going on here is we have an f of x, and we have our f of y, right? So those are our two variables. And it's always going to be in terms of either x, y, or z because those are the axes. I don't want to get into that, but those are part of our axes and they represent, you know, the different functions. These are z-axis, which when we get into more 3D stuff, you're going to understand better, hopefully. Um, okay, so fx, we got to find the, the x term. So, again, this gets just treated as a constant. All right, nothing, nothing really special. X, x when we derive x, or we'll take the derivative of x times this constant, it's just going to give us one times the constant, which means we're going to get um, y. All right, and then for f y, we're going to we're going to do kind of the same thing. X is now I like to always put it in terms of c when it's a constant, just so I don't get confused. Because I tend to take derivatives really fast in my head, and without even thinking, I just carry derivatives over and stuff. So, just to keep my brain under control, I use a c. And then um, here we have, you know, y. We have the derivative of that, which means it's just all—all all it's going to come out to is just c over two y. Because you know, when you take derivative of a square root like that, this is what happens. Um, if you don't if you don't see this differentiation immediately, just think of it as in terms of this. And remember that when you take when you subtract one from it, it's actually subtracting that. Then you pull this down, and then you, you should be able to see how I got this derivative. Then, and then you know since it's times a constant, it's just going to be x over two y. All right, and then. I guess we can run through another really quick one here. In this one we have another z term. This is going to be x squared minus 4xy plus 3y2. Okay. So here we, we have everything in terms of two variables again, x and y. Um, so the first thing we do is fx, fy. And we first thing we want to do is we want to isolate everything that's x. So in this case, is there an x here? Yes, there's an x there. So we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of that. We get 2x. Okay, is there an x here? Yes, there is an x here. So just rewrite this as x derivative of x times 4y, just to keep everything into you know better sense. Now don't forget the minus sign. All right. Excuse me. Um, it's getting a little messy, but you should be able to see it still. So this becomes one, one times 4y, which means 4y is carried down. Um. This is just derivative of a constant, so it becomes zero. So we don't have to include that in. Then we're gonna rewrite everything down here so we know where we're at. All right, is there any y in this part? No, there's not. So it's just derivative of a constant. Is there any y in this part? Yes, there is. So we just treat this as 4x times the derivative of y, and then. 
you know, y becomes 1, so it's going to give us, is going to give us um, negative 4x. Now, is there a y here? Yes, there is. There's a y squared function. So we have to take the root of the whole thing because, you know, 3 is just a constant. We factor, th we factor out the constant anyway. So when we take the root of y squared, it's going to become 6y. But remember, it's a positive 6y. So it's going to be 6y. So there we go. These are what we needed to find out from this equation. And we should be good as gold. Sorry about my handwriting when trying to improve it. <laughs> it looks a little messy from this point of view. Um, actually, I think it looks messy from any point of view, but I'll, I'll, I'll improve it. Okay, so just to go over a really quick one. This one we have to imply chain rule and we have to do a bunch of stuff. But if you ever see this particular case, it's just really easy just to go like this. If, especially if you're good at doing derivatives in your head. You just pull it down, because remember we're doing everything in, chain, in terms of x and y. So when we when we implement chain rule in this one, what's going on is, you know, we're going to pull this down. It's going to be x times y. And what we do in terms of, of x, y becomes, you have to take the root of x, I mean. So it's 1 times y anyways, right? So we can just say, pull this y down for the x term, times the e to the x sub y. And then we can uh, we pretty much have to do the same thing for f of y. We just say y, no, I mean x, yeah, x times e to the x y. And that's just, that's just implied chain rule right there. And it's just really easy to do once you think through it. Remember, you have to do in terms of everything. Isol make sure you're isolating the term you need and you're taking the derivative of the right term when you do the chain rule. <coughs> <coughs> all right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I'm going to be going through a lot more homework problems in my homework videos. But for now, this video is completed. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great understanding. Remember, I do do any homework problems that you need help with, so send me your homework problems and I'll do a video on them, and hopefully we can get you all worked out. Alrighty, so you have a great one, and take care.